So in the past I've uh, used various methods of charging 18650 batteries with uh, USB power banks uh, such as these and also discharging them with this uh, discharge circuit here that determines the capacity of the batteries. Um, and all these methods work quite well and they're certainly cheap. Um, but I've also invested not a great deal of money but I have invested now in a new battery charger which has arrived uh, just today and this is suspecting that's the unit there the Lito Gala Engineer Li 300 and there's a couple of different versions of these there's the 200 which I think is basically just got old firmware on it the 260 which looks exactly the same as this um, there's only one difference and that is that it doesn't have a USB output this the 300 which is one of the latest two cell models and then there's the 500 and that's a four cell unit so in the box you get the unit itself you get a car cigarette lighter adapter with a I think this is 5.5 2.1 mil jack on it and this is the reason why this is particularly interesting for the solar shed because I know that the input on this unit is tolerant from you know 11.5 5 volts all the way up to 13.8 possibly even 14 volts and that's perfect for the solar shed um, in mine I got a branded Lito Kala um, European plug adapter uh, 12 volts 1.5 amps positive on the center input 100 to 240 volts 50 or 60 hertz and of course because i got this from abroad and i've got the european uh, power adapter they sent one of these travel adapters for export only and i won't go into this uh, for very long because lots of other people have done some very good videos on it but these are not great the spacing to the edge is quite small these have this one has at least got shielded pins the earth often isn't connected properly you can just get another plug you can plug in the earth straight into the live and suddenly now you've got a live case on your item so excuse me if you are going to use these you need to know what you're doing and if you can at all don't use adapters and find a proper adapter with the right plug on it okay so the last thing in the box is the manual which oh no there we go um is all there this battery does do um double a and triple a nickel metal hard drives as well as 18650s and um, other sizes of lithium iron cylindrical cells. Um, that new feature of the USB 5 volt boost output that's actually taking the power from the batteries and putting it out of there. It's not um, live when it's plugged in, it's charging, it's only when it's off, I believe. So this is a raw feed from my solar sheds battery bank. Uh, they're currently at 13.1 volts. Um, this is a 2.1, 5.5 mil connector, positive center. Let's plug it in. And there it is, both ports null due to having no batteries in them. Okay, so we can see that we, by default, are charging at, sorry, we are in charge mode down there, 
500 milliamps. The battery is currently at 3.9 volts and that little animation is showing that we are charging. Um, the capacity segments there are increasing. Um, now we can go through the various menus on here. If we press that, let me just adjust my camera. Uh, 500 milliamps and then so far we've accumulated 6 milliamps of charge into this battery. It's been running for less than a minute, so the clock is showing no hours and no minutes. And the battery has an internal resistance of 56. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the MR units are. I might have to look that up. Okay, so that's it pretty much for the charging mode and the various bits of information you can get out of the... Uh, Lito Carla Engineer Li 300. If we press and hold the mode button, we can change it into discharge mode or press and hold again and go back to charge mode. I think those are the only two different modes. So in discharge mode, again, we get the choice 500 milliamps or a thousand milliamps. Now I'm going to let that charge sorry I've given it away there slightly what this does is it first charges the battery to its full capacity and then discharges so we're in discharge mode you can just see down here but the battery level is increasing showing it is charging so it charges first to make sure it's full and then it discharges the battery to give it a full and accurate reading of the milliamp hours. So as this cell is charging before it does a discharge, um, we can also plug in another cell here. This one's reclaimed from a laptop, uh, 85 um, internal resistance. We can charge at 1000 milliamps and that's quite happy as you can see it's already quite it's full pretty much 4.2 volts it's showing I will just check that against a meter okay so I want to see if these voltages on here are correct this cell it claims that 4 volts so I've got my meter I was struggling to get the probes in and not cover any of the screens uh, when it was in the other orientation so we'll just try There we go, 4.03 volts, 4 volts, that one claims 4.0, so that seems fairly accurate. This one may be a bit trickier, because it's not a button top cell, in fact, I don't think I'm going to get in there. Okay, so using my Arduino based uh, discharge capacity circuit, I've discharged this cell to 2.9 volts when it was under load. Um, the voltage is probably recovering a little bit uh, while I talk and over the last minute or two. Um, I've created these bits of Vero board with wires attached back to back, just two strips there, um, no connection between the two, um, and then a connector. And the idea is I'm going to plug in my meter in line and see if we can work out whether this really does deliver 500 milliamps when it says it is. So if I squeeze that into there, no uh, circuit at the moment, so I'm going to plug in my probes. And hopefully there we go, we see it's come up to 3.1 volts. So it automatically goes into 500 milliamp charging, and on the left hand side, we can see that indeed it has. It's 522 milliamps being delivered to that battery. And that number will drop over time, I'm expecting, as the, uh, as the voltage and the charge on this battery increases the... Uh, current being delivered to it should decrease um, giving a sign 
to the charger that it needs to quit charging. So with two fully charged batteries in it now, um, the last feature to test is the power bank feature, the 5 volt USB output on the back, which if I plug this charger doctor in, says it is delivering 4.96 volts at 610 milliamps, 3 watts on the button, out to another power bank connected onto here. So it indeed works. It's one of the um, features of the Li 300 model, which, to be honest, I think is a bit pointless. So that's the Lito Carla Engineer Li 300, exactly the same as the 260, except for that USB port on the back. It comes with the manual, the charger itself, uh, and mine, a European uh, 12 volt 1.5 amp adapter one of those horrible death adapter Chinese export only plug sockets and a, a 12 volt cigarette lighter charger lead so it's absolutely perfect for the solar shed um, it does exactly what it says it charges at 1 amp and 500 milliamps it charges to 4.2 volts. Um, it does uh, also charge nickel and metal hard drives, but I've not tested that because I already have a good nickel metal hard drive uh, charger with four independent um, charging circuits. Um, the 12 volt input is tolerant to voltages below and well above. I've tested up to about 13 and a half volts today. Um, and it does everything it says it does and it's a reasonably well-made product this one came from gearbest.com it was about 17 and a half dollars i think which equated to 12 and a half uk pounds um after the paypal conversion rates and all that so i can recommend the lito carla engineer li 300 i think it's a good product um hopefully you enjoyed this review if you did please give me a thumbs up uh, comment down below and share if you can. Thanks for watching.